Hey everyone, I'm Kate and I make Disney and Disneyland Paris related videos every single Thursday. This channel is very new, this is only my second video and it would really mean a lot if you could support me and subscribe down below and also hit the notification button so you know when I upload a video every single Thursday. So today's video I'm going to be talking about two hotels at Disneyland Paris, the Sequoia Lodge Hotel and the Newport Bay Hotel and I'm going to be comparing my thoughts on staying in both of them which one I prefer, how are they different, all those things. So let's get into it. So I'm going to start off by talking about probably one of the most important parts of staying in a hotel and that's your room. Um, but for me this is one of the parts that actually there's really not that much in it. They're both wonderful rooms. Um, they have different themes obviously. The Sequoia Lodge theme is Bambi, it's very rustic, warm colours, dark woods, whereas the Newport Bay it's a nautical theme, so it's kind of blues, whites, um, the character theming is like the original characters in kind of sailor costumes like Mickey, Pluto. Um, so yeah, they're, they're really not that different. <laughs> the only furniture that's different is in the Sequoia Lodge. In the corner of the room you kind of just have a little table with a chair, whereas in the Newport Bay it's um, like a dressing table. Which is, which is useful when you're doing your makeup, but it's not integral, like you could just do it in the bathroom and if people watching this don't wear makeup then it's probably really not that useful at all. Um, so yeah, there's really not that much that splits it. Um, I probably should preface this video by saying that if you look in the Disney brochure, on paper the Newport Bay is probably classed as a better hotel. Disney do not use a star system, they use a key system. Newport Bay is a four key hotel, Sequoia Lodge is a three key hotel. So the Newport Bay is more expensive, but um, my kind of overall feelings is that they're both amazing hotels. They just offer completely different experiences, but this isn't really reflected in the room for me. It's kind of more reflected in the other part of the hotel, which we'll get into next. So yeah, rooms pretty on par. The next area I'm going to go into is the bars in each hotel. Um, for me this is kind of where it really shows the split of the different experiences you can have at either hotel. Um, so in the Sequoia Lodge the bar is called the Redwood Lounge I believe um, and it's kind of very open, it's just in the middle of the kind of hub of the hotel, there's really comfy sofas. There's like a big log fire in the center. It's as the hotel name suggests, it's like a lodge. Um, and it's really nice in there. And yeah, it's just, a, yeah, what am I saying? Who knows? Um, but we would come back from the parks late at night and we'd go to the bar, we'd get a drink, we'd sit on the comfy sofas, have a nice drink before we went up to our room. It was just a really relaxed environment um, and really cozy as well. Um, now this is very different to the bar at the Newport Bay, which was called the Captain's Quarters, I think. Um, like I said, the Sequoia Lodge, you just go up to the bar, you go to your table, you chill out. Um, sometimes people come around and ask you if you want a drink, but um, it's not super formal. Whereas the Captain's Quarters at the Newport Bay is a little bit more formal. Um, Sometimes they kind of like show you to a table, they take your drinks orders from the table, they bring over your drinks, like I just ordered a coke but they kind of like poured it in front of me, they brought over like a little bowl of olives, um, like it's a little bit more of a, a formal experience than it is at the Redwood Lounge at the Sequoia. Um, so yeah, like I said, neither of them are, are bad or negative, it's just that they were very different for me um, and personally I really prefer the Sequoia Lodge it was just much more of a um, I don't know just like a relaxed environment like we could all come back after the parks and we could just kind of like chill on the sofas and chat whereas when you're in the captain's quarters in the Newport Bay and the guys and they're like captains outfits for kind of coming over and bringing you both of olives like I felt like I should be a bit more formal and I don't know when you've come back from the parks and you're wearing like hoodies and mini ears and I don't know it just felt a bit jarring for me um 
So I personally prefer the Sequoia Lodge bar, but yeah, like I said, they're both amazing. And the cast members in both are great, but I prefer the Sequoia Lodge. Another part of the hotel which is very similar is the shops. Both shops offer the shopping service, which is great. Both of the cast members in both hotels are great. Um, I do think Sequoia Lodge, the shop is slightly bigger. Um, and so I feel like it has a bit of an advantage. I feel like it had, I just said I feel like three million times in a row. I do think the Sequoia Lodge hotel shop is bigger, so it has a slightly better selection. Also, I randomly just felt like it was quieter. Don't really know why. Um, although actually I do know why, but I'm gonna go on to that in my next point, so we'll leave that there. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like it had a slightly bigger selection. It also had really stunning window displays, which is such like a nitpicky thing. But if I still have the picture I took a few years ago, I will put it in here. But they're just so big and pretty. The Newport Bay is um, more recently refurbished. And so the interior of the shop is beautiful. It just kind of looks nice. But um, yeah, I don't know. I think this Sequoia has a slightly better selection. It also, so, blah, 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 I can't get my words out. It also has a much bigger pin wall, which, come on, we all love pins, so yeah. Now, at the end of the day, a lobby is a lobby. You don't really use it that much. You check in, you check out, you might go to the concierge to make a reservation but um, you don't really spend much time in the lobby. But there is something that separates these two hotels for me and this kind of leads on with what I was saying in my last point about why the Sequoia Lodge shop was slightly less busy. And that's in terms of the layout of the hotel. So the Sequoia Lodge, you've got the lobby where you come in, but then the shop and the bar and the restaurants all of those are kind of like in a hub together at the back. Everything's very open, everything's connected. So yeah, you've kind of got that separation between the people enjoying the hotel facilities and then the people at the front who are like checking in. That's very different at the Newport Bay because the lobby, like the shop it comes off the lobby, the bar comes off the lobby. So you have to walk through the lobby to get anywhere. Um, and it makes it really busy. I just feel like in the Newport Bay, the kind of central hub is a lot more squished together than it is at the Sequoia Lodge. And so when you're at the Sequoia Lodge, um, the shop feels quieter. When you can meet characters in the morning, when I would meet them at the Sequoia Lodge, it literally took me like five minutes in the queue to meet them. At the Newport Bay, like I just stood no chance because everything, all the like amenities are very close together. The queue to meet the characters was probably like an hour or something ridiculous. It was like snaking around the whole lobby. Whereas um, at the Square Lodge, because things are just a little bit more away from the, the rush of people, you get slightly more of a relaxed atmosphere. I don't know, for me, the lobby is the place where you go when you're about to leave and it's kind of nice to not walk through it every day to kind of just have that distance from it. I don't know, again, it's like a really personal thing for me, but that was my feelings on, on that kind of area of the hotel. I can't really judge the swimming pools because I haven't been in either. Um, and I can't really judge breakfast either because I've had breakfast at the Sequoia Lodge, but I haven't had breakfast at the Newport Bay. I did want to bring up that the Newport Bay when we stayed there, um, we got like four free hot drinks a day from like a drinks machine which they had on each floor which is a really nice kind of addition. Um, they didn't do this last time I was at the Sequoia Lodge but it's been like a year and a half so whether this is something they've introduced I don't know. The other thing is that in the Disney brochure the Newport is apparently a 15 minute walk to the parks and the Sequoia is a 10. They are exactly the same distance. Um, there is definitely not a five minute difference. <laughs> um, you can be at Disney Village from both hotels in like three minutes and probably at the parks in like seven minutes. I think they kind of overestimate the walking, but um, yeah, so there's no difference in distance. I do think that Sequoia has a slightly more immersive outdoor environment just because like I said, it's supposed to be like a lodge in a kind of national park. So the hotel is surrounded by these beautiful trees. And so when you come out of the hotel, 
and you're walking to the park so you do get to walk through that kind of woody tree area also known as a woodland i don't know why i called it a woody tree area <laughs> whereas when you come out of the newport bay um there isn't really there's like a little kind of gazebo thing with a bench um but there isn't really any outdoor theming i guess because all the hotels are around lake disney and lake disney lends itself to the nautical theme anyway but I don't know, I just think walking to the Sequoia Lodge Hotel is a really kind of relaxing experience. So yeah, I think that's all I have to say on the two hotels. So I know I kind of just rambled there. I don't know if this video made any sense. I don't know if anyone followed this video. But um, to summarise, both amazing hotels. If you can stay at both on different trips, I definitely recommend it because it's always fun to have new experiences. And for me, this video was just a matter of preference. There wasn't one hotel that was great and one hotel that was really bad they were both really great it's just they offer different experiences if you're after a kind of laid back cozy um just really chill warm experience i think the sequoia lodge is a better hotel if you want to feel like you're having a little bit more of a luxurious experience a little bit more exclusivity um a kind of swankier feel then the Newport Bay is probably the better hotel. So yeah, like I said, they just offer different experiences for me. I liked the chilled atmosphere of the, the Sequoia Lodge. It just felt like, you know, when you come back from the parks at 11 o'clock, you've been up since 6 a.m., you're exhausted. Sometimes it can be pretty cold. Um, it's just, I don't know, I just felt the Sequoia Lodge for me was the one that I could just kind of like sink into a sofa somewhere and think, Ugh one a day but I also would happily stay at the Newport Bay again but I uh, yeah Sequoia Lodge is where my heart is at so <laughs> I hope this video was useful um or if it wasn't useful somewhat entertaining I don't know um if you guys agree with me you could like this video or you could just like this video anyway that would be great um <laughs> You can comment down below your thoughts maybe you've stayed in both these hotels maybe you agree with me maybe you disagree with me maybe you've stayed at one of the other hotels that i haven't stayed at and you have thoughts about one of those that's better then i would love to know because i'm always looking for new things to try at disneyland paris so yeah i'm finished for this week <laughs> um i will see you guys next week with another video who knows what it's going to be about see you next week bye <laughs>